Hello everyone! My name is Sasha Fischler and I'm so happy to see you on Felix channel. Today we're gonna paint this beautiful train going in the autumn forest. Please first tape your paper on the table. Uh, it will help you to keep it in the same position always. It will help you to control the water and color coming uh, on the paper and to don't uh, make bubbles. So next is sketch. As usually with the landscape, we are starting with a horizon line. Then we building this train, finding the position. It's somewhere in the middle, but lower. Uh, and then, don't forget, please, about perspective. On the first plan, it's bigger, and when it's getting far, it's smaller and smaller and smaller. Then we need to make uh, some lines for the mountains. We need to make some details on the train. Uh, to make it easier for you, I would recommend you to open this video in the another window and then you can see the reference. And after we are making a little bit of uh, those trees on the first plan, here we are doing the fog which is going from the train. Here we are doing some uh, small, which is going from the train. Okay, and now we are ready to color. So for the first, I would recommend you to take a big brush. My brush is, uh, has a size 12. Uh, and first, I'm just weighting my paper. First layer we will do with uh, light colors. So watercolor is usually about three layers. First one I will do always on the wet paper. So first I'm just taking some water and uh, making my sky wet. We can see two clouds here on top and I'm gonna paint them now. So first I'm taking some of the sky blue color. And I'm mixing this with a little bit of dark brown to make it like kind of gray color and I'm making the line in the middle of the sky and then blending it a little bit up also on the left side I'm adding some of yellow okra mixed with red brown color and same thing but with a um, more blue color I'm doing a little bit lower, like one more line and blending it again. Now, now you can understand how dark should be your clouds. You can decide by yourself, would you like to make it a little bit more intensive or just keep it transparent and easy like it is now. So I would like to make it a little bit darker by just using the same colors. It's still dark brown and it's a little bit of sky blue. Okay, now the next step is this uh, mountain which is far, far from us. Please don't forget that in landscapes the most important thing is depth. So you need to always take care about uh, your plans. First plan, which is closer to us, should be very intensive, should have the most the biggest contrast. But things uh, which is far, you can see here, uh, I'm mixing very light cool green color, a little bit of dark brown and can be a little bit of ultramarine and here very easy and still transparent I'm painting this part uh, and also I'm leaving a little bit of white space uh, to make here some yellow trees with yellow okra
like this. Um, please always keep open the reference you are painting because I can make some colors uh, I'm adding some colors, but maybe you don't need them. Maybe your painting already enough deep enough uh, has enough intensity and you don't need to maybe add as much as I'm doing so always understand what you are doing okay so now I'm coming to the left side I'm also waiting this part and for the first I'm making this uh, forest on the left side for this I'm using crimson red which is cool red and a little bit of yellow okra uh, but I'm also mixing it a little bit with this green because red color is pretty open and um, intensive color bright but as soon as we are making autumn forest the colors are not so bright especially on the second plant so we are mixing this green and this red together this is two opposite colors in the color circle so uh, they making each other not too bright I'm going a little bit around uh, the smoke and I'm using paper tissue to clean it a little bit but no worries even if you color this uh, we will come back to this later and we will color it with white so now it's time for the bright colors I'm gonna use here two different kind of red color so first one is crimson red which is cool red and a little bit of um, let's say red scarlet it's usually warm red color you can see it's a little bit closer to orange color it's a little bit brighter to keep the texture of the um, trees I'm making just a small small drops and a little bit of yellow okra between all these trees the next part I'm going lower I'm not touching the stone on the first plan and now we are making the same I'm wetting my paper just with water and you can see how much water I'm using it's not um, it's enough you can see it's actually quite a lot yeah but if you're using right paper if it's watercolor paper you can easily do it so here on the first plan I'm also adding three different colors which is yellow okra and uh, scarlet red and a little bit of green mixed with red it looks actually like kind of brown yeah but uh, greenish brown the next step is uh, this Christmas tree on the first plan but now I'm making it not too clear uh, it's still on wet paper but it's totally fine that's the um, effect what I need what I'm looking for and I'm making easy touch for all the trees I see on the right side too now it's time for the stone on the first plan and we're gonna use some cool colors I'm using some um, 
sky blue and ultramarine and it can be a little bit of purple color here so now I'm uh, getting it dry and uh, wetting my right side of the forest here we actually will do almost that same thing so here on the first plane I'm again using scarlet red but only somewhere you see and cool red and yellow okra and still the same kind of green somewhere even some orange color so now the goal for you is to cover all the white spots on your paper Okay, so now I'm making a little bit more details on the tree on the left side and some more green everywhere. And now with some purple color, uh, I need to do the texture of the rocks with just the lines, with just the um, diagonal lines. So it's like shadows. And on the first rock, on the first plan, uh, now we need to paint on the dry paper because it's close to us and uh, lines here needs to be very, very clear. And here we are making again shadows. some purple color too uh, and I would love to also add some leaves um, with can be orange and yellow okra too so this in between of these rocks but first let's do the railway so here um, I, I just color it yeah so now I'm adding leaves and railway uh, has now only basic tone on the first plan a little bit more of orange and exactly under the train I'm making this a little bit more dark a little bit more purple and blue color exactly under the train uh, so next for the train uh, please now pay attention where is light coming from so it's from the right side and light we will see only on top of the train that means that left side will be in the shadow so first we are making base color everywhere it's same now everywhere on top or on the side and yellow for the first part if you feel like you need to make the shadows deeply you can add a little bit more shadows exactly under the train and make the railway I'm doing it with purple color first layer is ready so now the uh, it's time for the details and for the second layer here I'm taking some purple color and again on the dry paper now uh, on the second layer we will do more on dry paper I'm again making this shadow under the train 
a little bit deeper and I'm building the railway. Here I'm using very dark color, it's brown with green and with blue. Looks like black, but I would recommend you to don't use black in uh, watercolor, because in real life we cannot see a real black color, it's always reflections from other objects around. And also I'm adding some of this uh, cool color uh, on the forest, which shows us shadows. And a little bit more of uh, red plus this purple on the first plan. Why I'm doing this? Because after we will do some um, trees, some illustration effect on the first plan. We will take the black pen and white uh, gouache or white pen to make the trees, to make the stumps for them. And here it's very important to have intensive and um, deep background. It should be really intensive on the first plan to let us paint with the white color especially on it. Okay, so now I would like to make a little bit more details for the rocks on the second plan. For this I'm still coming back to my purple and doing some lines. And adding a little bit of uh, color for the forest. You also can blend here those colors or make it on the wet, but I would like to keep it like this. And I feel like my first plan is not enough intensive, so I'm adding some more colors and some more texture for the forest. Um, with a flat brush, I'm doing some horizontal small lines. You will see it's like Japanese style of painting. I will do it later a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now a little bit more of cool green mixed with red and mixed with uh, this blue. Okay, and now it's time to build the shadows and light on the train. To make the all details, to make the shadows on the left side of the train and to work with the dark and uh, cool colors, because cool colors we usually using for the shadows. So now, please, uh, in your base color in this yellow, I'm just adding a little bit of more, let's say, dark brown color. Uh, and now I'm also working a little bit with the forest. Uh, I'm adding more small details on the first plan. So to show the first plan you need always uh, make the details a little bit smaller and more contrasting. And always don't forget to uh, clean this smoke here. To, uh, we don't need the lines here, we don't need the clear silhouette. And now it's time for the shadow on the um, rest of the train. We are using again some of purple mixed with green. And same color I'm just using for stones. To make some more details, again a little bit more dark and a little bit more clear. Um, and again working with the 
Christmas trees on the first plan. Some ultramarine and some red color on the first plan. And uh, now I would like to make my railway a little bit more contrasting and a little bit um, brighter. Now also we're making some uh, more shadows between of each part of the train and we are making windows and those small details on, on the roof. And now finally it's time for um, the rest. It's honestly my favorite time because now we can take a black pen and all the details it's harder to do with the brush with the colors we can do just with the black pen so now I'm just making like kind of contouring for everything what was on the first plan I'm adding some shadows I'm adding some details each leaf on the first plan I also can make contour for this tree trunks and branches for the trees so basically everywhere you would like to have more details you feel like you need more graphic railway too especially uh, close to us you can work here with the black pen Making all, all the details for the train too, here. Uh, and also a little bit of shadows on the first plan, on uh, this part of the train. It's not only the lines. It's like a little bit of tone with the black pen. Uh, sometimes that so now it's uh, time for a Japanese style trees flat brush and some of the brush strokes you can use different colors so here I'm using I've been using some green uh, you can use some red color on the right side I'll do it too later uh, guys now you can just have a look on your own picture and understand where do you need it. So here, um, big details I would like to do on the wet paper, but on the right side, it's smaller. I would like to do it on uh, dry paper. When you're doing it on the dry, it looks a little bit more clear. But on the wet paper, it makes you totally different texture, totally different effect. So you can try both. And you will see how do you feel, you know? 
painting it's not about just making the same exactly things what the teacher doing it's about understand how to paint how to make uh, it without teacher mm -hmm. and um, some of the trees you can make in black but some of them you can also add in white color so about the white color in uh, classic art especially in classic watercolor we usually not using white colors why because uh, in real life you cannot see any white color same like about black because of some reflections from other things but it's illustration style so now you can use uh, four different methods first one is masculine liquid you need to make it before the watercolor i will not show you uh, it here in this time uh, second one is white pen which i just started to use but on my opinion white pen is um, sometimes not enough intensive especially if you have a big layer big intensive layer of watercolor so for me the best is to take small really tiny brush number one is best and make white details with acrylic or maybe with gouache uh, gouache with watercolor is even better because it's a little bit more intensive it's a little bit more um, let's say easy to blend with water because acrylic dries faster as you know and uh, gouache with watercolor for me is best blend so now i'm just finishing all the small details i would like to add to and we are coming to white you can see how my white pen working on the watercolor it's quite too transparent i cannot really see the silhouettes right So I've decided to try acrylic, but my acrylic is quite dry and um, I need to also add some water in uh, the can and it looks, you see, quite better, but it's still a little bit transparent. And the next I try gouache. Yeah, this is gouache and you already can see the difference. Um, but here yeah especially here you need to focus on mixing uh, your color with water it needs to be good blend of color and water uh, and always don't forget to keep your brush really tiny and small for this maybe you don't need to take a, uh, a lot of color and start from big things and go after to the small things uh, smoke from the train you also can do and especially edges uh, we need to a little bit blend with water not edges sides so. yeah like this How big should be your smoke how many trees you would like to add it's your decision here but uh, always try to go a little bit far from your picture and understand is it in balance do you feel happy with this and uh, please enjoy the process that's <laughs> the best thing will help you to keep growing in painting it's always about joy and about uh, your focus my last details lines here when it's closer to us even a little bit bigger and yeah that's it thank you so much for being with me thank you to the Felix for allowing me to uh, be posted on his channel I'm so happy to be here and enjoy your painting guys see you and goodbye